Hello, Garrett Watson here with the Chronicle News. Today, we were fortunate enough to snag an interview with ArtSpace Property Development Director and the team lead for Space to Create, Andrew Michelson. Andrew began his career with ArtSpace in 2006 as an intern before moving his way up to director and has extensive experience in historic adaptive reuse, including the rehabilitation and conversion of former Calvary building uh, at Fort Snelling into supportive housing for homeless veterans and their families. He brings that experience to Trinidad Space to Create Project, which broke ground in 2018 on the 200 block of Main Street. The entire block. So thanks for coming by, Andrew. My pleasure. So you've been kind of key in the development of several art space type projects around the country from mm -hmm. Minnesota, where you're from, to Chicago, and now the Space to Create project here in Colorado, uh, the Trinidad specifically. Mm -hmm. Trinidad is actually a uh, demonstration project yep. for Space to Create. Can you kind of tell us what you're hoping that this will demonstrate for the project? Yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of great things about Trinidad um, that can be a demonstration or a platform for launching or inspiring other communities across you know both the state of Colorado and the country. It's, you know, I think it's easy to overlook rural communities. I think it's easy to overlook, you know, communities that may be seeing the ups and downs of, you know, economies rising and falling and looking at, you know, the way Trinidad has really deliberately invested in its history and, and locating our project on Main Street to uh, sort of reestablish that vitality on Main Street, bring new people in, offer new affordable options for people who are already living here or want to relocate. Those are, you know, things that can resonate in communities you know, across the country and to see, you know, a community that's never done something like this, like Trinidad, but for another community to say, hey, we we have those same issues or we'd like to see the same thing. They've done it there. We're the same size or about the same size. We're rural too. We could do it. And I mean, that's the sort of thing I really want to see. But I mean, specific to Trinidad, I, I'm really, you know, itching to see, you know, the, it's under construction. Let's see what actually starts happening once it's complete, once our residents there, once our businesses are starting in you know, two, three years from now, seeing what actually has come. That's that's really the exciting thing is to know there's that opportunity, but really to see it to come to fruition, that's sort of what keeps me coming down. Awesome. Great. And you mentioned the affordable aspect mm -hmm. of it. You've got almost or over a decade of experience in Kind of affordable housing and everything. What's led you into that? Why why that kind of sector? Uh, I mean, personally, I think that housing is is literally a human right. I mean, people need a safe, dignified place to live, and they need a place where they feel comfortable, where they can they can thrive. And simply providing a place that isn't just a roof over your head, but someplace where you can call home, allows you to focus on all those other elements of your life that you want to either improve or to do better, or just you know to not have to worry about and. As a nation, you know, we've seen, you know, policies go for better or for worse towards investing in, in housing. And you know, we're really seeing a lot of those stresses, particularly on folks who can't afford or are putting so much of their money towards their rent every month that they're neglecting, you know, their health or their medicines or, or other investments. And um, to, to be able to alleviate some of those pressures is, is huge. And it's not just an urban problem. It's not just a big city problem. It's rural. There's homelessness. There's, there's affordability, affordability pressures everywhere. It's, it's easy to overlook rural communities, but it's, it's something that's important, I think, for everybody to, to have at least a heightened awareness of. And if you can benefit from it, all the better. Mm.